banking on me on the bank. I smack her, she let her get spanked. Spank. I tackle her, bitch, let her wrestle. Young bachelor, we let her play. So come out when I move the drapes. Know my move when I grab your waist. Know you fucking a man that's made. Hey, keep it low key, she ain't out to fame. No, she ain't out to fame. You like that? Oh, I used to be fucking. You want her nothing to say? guys, and of course, welcome back to my channel. As y'all can already tell by the title, I'm gonna be doing a Timu unboxing slash kind of like haul. I've done hauls and unboxing videos before, so. Of course, if you haven't seen those other videos of mine, please go back and watch those. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in the room, baby. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn your bell notifications on if you haven't. And of course, if you're true here, y'all already know what to do. Hit that like button. And of course, leave a comment down below for anything you want to see going forward. So, this is a nice size package. I'm super excited. Um, I really, really, really thought they were a scam i'm not gonna lie <laughs> when i kept seeing the ads it's like mm, why y'all keep trying to get me to order but you know that's social media and that's how things work nowadays so you know hey i'm all for it promotion 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 so the first thing is this game you laugh you drink i love card games and fun games to play when my friends are over whenever i have friends over not very often, but still, it's always good to have. Plus, I mean, you can do that with your partner. Like, it's fine. Um, I also got these for my son. They are these, like, little magnets. You can kind of see here on the back pictures what they do and what they look like. I'm so excited for him to play with them. I know he's going to be super excited. This dress is fitting me like a house dress. And I don't know why, because it's really not a house dress. And it was fitting me quite nice. I mean, it fits my body nice. It's just like the front to me is not giving nice and like fitted. It's more kind of like loose slash fitted. It's weird, but I still like the dress. But anyways, next is this nice waist trainer I got. Um, or no, this isn't a waist trainer. That's in the other order. This is a organizer for my car, for my son's area in my car. So, He's not wasting snacks, drinks, all that stuff, which he does. I'm sure he's still probably going to do some what, but this will help prevent it happening so much. And you have the clear section here for you to put like a tablet, iPad, any of that stuff right here, phone, you know, whatever. You just slide it in the top area here and your baby can be fully organized. You got two sections over here where you can put drinks, snacks, anything like that. And um, you have the middle section as well to like put snacks. And it has a Velcro, so you can, of course, close that up. You can also put drinks in these top little um, net sections up here as well. So you just have so many options. I absolutely love this. Um, I was super excited to get it because, again, my car is usually a mess due to my son being in the backseat. See, he just found those uh, building blocks, y'all. Y'all here? He's ready to play. Let me open it for you, baby. <laughs> Yay! Here you go. Uh oh. Probably shouldn't have did that in here. You'll just get that much for now. And I'll do the rest later. <laughs> He's like, what do I do with these? But next is this super cute but necessary. I don't know how all parents feel about it. I honestly also don't care. This is my child. I'm going to raise them how I see fit. But this is a harness. Um, I thought that was something from this. But it's like a harness. Harness, Laura couldn't get it out. Um, so let me explain it right. This part will go on him like this. Yeah? Like a little this. And then I'm supposed to be able to attach. It has like clips here. Attach this. You see they have loops on this part. Uh, hopefully y'all can see that. Let me have a loop here in the front to where I can, and on the sides, both sides. So where I can, yes, just simply attach this to this and then reattach this to it so that basically my son cannot just get away from me. Um, and when we're out in public, I don't have to fear for somebody taking him or something happening. And actually I think this, yeah, okay, I was right. So yeah, that comes out and you basically, what I'm thinking is slide so I have to go back and look at the picture to be sure. Um, and let me know if you guys want the links. I will put them in the description box um, if you would like them. 
but just comment if that's something you guys are interested in. If you like the items you see, and I'll definitely update and do that. But as y'all can see, yes, you put this, attach it to one of the loops. And then, of course, you got your baby. You don't have to worry about somebody taking your baby or something happening. And that's the thing. I know people look at them and kind of like frown upon, what are they, uh, child straps or leashes or harnesses and stuff, harnesses and stuff like that. But at the same time, I feel it's necessary when you're out and you're in a big crowd, you're in public, you know, I'm always with my son, as y'all know. So I want him to be safe and I want to feel comfortable and like he's safe. So... That is a way to save us both. Obviously, as he gets older, and he learns more discipline and stuff like that, and I feel comfortable, we will definitely upgrade to him not having to do that. But as of right now, you know, that's what we're going to be on because he's two, and his little butt likes to run and play and everything under the sun. I don't even know what this is. Oh, and this order took about a week and a half. Not long at all. I know some people say theirs took a really long time, but this one really did not take a long time at all. I really don't remember what this is, y'all. But it's some type of blow-up thingy. I'm guessing for my son to play on. Oh, it's like a water mat. So I'm supposed to be able to... Um, I think I'm supposed to fill it up with water. Yeah, because you got this part. And then he's supposed to be able to like jump in the middle part and play with the water. I don't really remember 100%. Gotta look at the picture for this one as well. But still, I remember everything I purchased, I was really grateful. And um, like I really was happy about getting and purchasing. So I don't feel like it was a waste or anything. I just gotta figure out how to work it. Um, next is this cute, cute, cute little projector um robot looking thing i love it yeah baby you want me to help okay hold on let me just fit this on here real quick see oh it goes like this y'all is so cute and he has like a little side little microphone thingy but obviously that doesn't do anything to work <laughs> and it comes Mommy, with this charger. He wants me to play with these with him, which I will once I wrap this up. So let me hurry up because he's ready to play. But um, this is, I think, like a USB charger, and it comes with like a little remote, y'all. It has just basically really cute different functions. I'm actually gonna charge this up so we can try it out tonight before bed. Cause I know he's gonna like, like, what is this, what is this, oh God. I can't wait. So next up is, let's see. Uh -oh. And people were telling me my order was gonna take a long time cause it's kind of from China. I don't even know if this stuff came from China. If it did, they were on it. And it was, must have been like expedited shipping. But I got these learning books for my son to be able to write. Um, this is like a drawing one. And this one is numbers. So you got addition and subtraction, which was the first one I showed y'all. English alphabet, which was the second one. And then yeah, you got the drawing one and the number one. So let me just open it up so you guys can kind of see what it looks like. So this will, this is like the second page in the book. So you can write over these things and it comes with like different pens, refills, all this type of stuff. So definitely not gonna be using this right now cause he's literally only two. Um, we'll probably look in there, but try to go over some stuff. What I mean is I'm not gonna pressure him to finish these books or anything like that or we'll really like be into it right now because he's so young he's still getting into him his regular two-year-old stuff so i don't want to pressure him um we'll learn as we go and oh yeah i was really excited about this too because this is a finger painting like dinosaur book so he loves dinosaurs right now that's his like thing so i was like how can i like give him something that is 
dinosaur theme, but like not hella messy because I bought him these dinosaurs, mini ones from Walmart. They came in like a cute little tub. It was so cute, came with trees, all kind of stuff. And this boy threw them all behind our bed and they were just all over the house. So he likes them, he loves them. He plays them all the time, but it's just too much of a mess. So yeah, um, but as you can see, he can like just put his little finger in these and then just put it all over the page. So I'm sure he's going to love that because they do that type of stuff at his daycare. So that's going to be a fun activity when he's bored. Oh, so no, this is a water doodle mat. So it washes off with water. Very easy, very simple for the kids to play with. I'm not sure if it actually comes with markers or a marker. Oh yeah, it has a water brush. So you unscrew the pin point, fill the pin with water, tighten the pin point, and then you start painting. So I'm wondering, is it like one of those invisible color type of pins? Because how, where is the color gonna come in? Or does the matte change color? I guess you're gonna have to see. It's eco-friendly. Okay, and for ages three plus. There's only two, but color and I think most kids do that from two and up, so. We're still gonna do it. Here is this mat. It's a really nice size, as y'all can see. And pretty much this middle white part is where he'll be able to draw. So you can like lay it on the floor and not have to worry about baby or you know whatever, your child in general. And they could be a toddler, baby, whatever it is. Drawing on this, you don't have to worry about them making huge messes. I think that's very important for our parents because we be tired. We get tired of cleaning up y'all little bitty toys and y'all little paint and messes and crayon writing on the mall markers and stuff. We get tired of it, okay? So this is gonna come in handy. And these are the extra little things that came with. So these are the little water pens, I guess, that change color. And then they have these stencils that come with it as well. So again, as he gets older, he'll play with more of those items, but it's just good in my opinion to make sure your child has everything that they need as far as like educational, fun, whatever. You know, what's the harm in it? Children's items really don't cost that much. So for me, it's well worth it. I was really like, as a child, I like to be creative. I like to draw, I like to play, I like to have fun. So of course I want the same thing for my son, but I wasn't always able to get everything that I wanted. And I love being able to like get my son things that, you know, I just, I, I just love that. Like buying him clothes, shoes, whatever, toys. Like it just makes me so happy because yeah, I didn't grow up all the time with a whole bunch of toys and just different things my mom could spend money on because she had obviously to pay our real bills. So yeah, but I also got him these really nice learning charts. This one is the seasons and the weather. This one is the days of the week. I'm actually gonna put these up all over his room. Um, he has a few other posters in there, but these are gonna make great additions. This one here, oh my God, y'all. These are so nice and they're really great quality. The paper is very thick. It's not like thin, cheap ass, like, you know, don't look like what you ordered. Everything looks exactly like what I ordered. And I think I paid maybe $40 for all of this stuff, which again, I only paid for three items. So that's why. And um, you have this one, numbers. So you got math, you got the days of the week, you got different words. Um, you know, hopefully I can add some Hispanic or um, Spanish speaking ones to his walls as well, because he is, um, Panamanian and his grandparents and some of his family members on his dad's side, they speak Espanol. So I want to make sure he is just able to speak different or multiple languages. Um, and it's better to teach them while they're young, in my opinion. They're um, like little sponges. So it's easier for them to soak everything up. I think when you get older, you kind of can pick and choose what you want to hold on to memory-wise. Instead, they kind of just I would say they have a choice, but it's just kind of like natural for them to soak everything up. You know, whether they, they don't really like have that whole I want to or don't want to process this mindset yet, I guess I'll say. Or at least I would like to hope, hope not. Um, I like to hope my theory is right about that. And then my body. I wish this was a boy because obviously I have a boy, but 
it's okay. You know, because girls and boys, we all have the same body parts, external body parts. We don't have the same, well, not all of them, but thankfully they don't, this is a little girl. So they're not like breast or titties, you know, like pointing out women or female parts. They're literally just pointing out body parts that, again, we all share. So I'll still put that one up. Um, I love everything that I got. I don't feel like any money was wasted. Any time was wasted. I don't feel like anything took a really long time. This was not a scam at all. So if you were thinking it's Timu is a scam, thinking that, okay, I don't know if I'm going to get my money, my order, anything like that, I promise you that you will. All the discounts are real. Even the money um, that you can like cash out on PayPal, that's real. I've gotten, like, I'm not going to lie, it wasn't a lot. Like I feel like it was like $4 um, from there to my PayPal, but I also could have gotten more. It's just, I don't know a whole lot of people. Timu is a referral app as far as like getting incentives. And I don't know a whole lot of people and the people that I do know, I sent it to them already. And some of them were like, no, please stop. <laughs> and like, um, is this a scam? Is this really you? So that is something, you know, you pretty much are going to have to think about if you are thinking of downloading the app and maybe even trying to again, go for that money that they offer. Um, if you, of course, send out certain things and also make sure you read up on that because it's not that you're going to get that full amount of money. What it is, is that you're going to get some of it, a portion, and then they're going to split the rest into like um, $50 off order of $200 and then another $50 off on the order of $100. And yeah, so if you're thinking I'm going to get this full $200 or whatever the amount again is that they're telling you. You're not gonna get all of that. You're probably gonna get some of that, but you're not gonna get all of it. And yeah, so just, I say don't get your hopes up as far as that goes, but they have amazing deals still. Um, it is an amazing website in my opinion to get on and get things for, you know, not as much as you would on Amazon or really anywhere else. And the quality is there as well. So like AliExpress, the, the problem, that I've seen, because I've ordered things off of there as well, is that the quality is a lot of times not there. You really have to thoroughly read those reviews because you won't get what you paid for. And although you're not paying much, it's just still the principle. If I'm spending a dime on something, I want it to look like what I'm ordering. Um, and I think we all feel that way, but that's why you also obviously have to manage your expectations. Remember, you get what you pay for, things like that. But the great part, again, about Timo is that you gonna get something more than what you paid for, okay? You're gonna get a little bargain for your money, a deal for your money. And that's what I'm here for. I'm always here to let you guys know about the deals, the tricks, the perks, y'all know me. I'm a mom, I don't have all the coins to just be giving out to these department stores. I like nice things. I love to live a nice luxury lifestyle, just like the next person. But I also don't wanna break the bank. And even when I do get to like a high, high level financially, I'm not going to be breaking my bank. I'm still going to be bargaining. I'm still going to be looking for the deals to, you know, percents off all of that because why not? Why would I spend all of my money and try to pay a whole price just to impress other people? Because that's usually what it's for. And so you can say, well, I paid the full $600. Okay, well, I paid three and we have the same back. So <laughs> win for me, in my opinion. Um, but you know, again, other people might feel like it's a win for me because I paid the full price. Like everybody's mindset is different. So I'm not here to judge. If you want to pay the full six, six, pay the full six. But I'm going to pay what I think and what I feel is comfortable for me. And if you're a girl like me, then again, get on Timu because there's so many household items and so many things that you just don't even probably think are on there that aren't on there. I literally saw this um, like toilet cover slash stand that was like, it was, it was a, it was a, um, Stair, uh, staircase, I guess I'll say, like a mini staircase with a stool cover attached to it for you to put right here on the toilet. So baby can just walk right up to the toilet, sit on down. You don't have to, like this is the one I currently have for my son for the seat and I just pop it on there when he has to go in here. But he also has like a mini personal potty in our room for him to use. So I think that would really come in handy because then, I don't know why this is crooked, but because then I wouldn't have to, again, worry about, oh, let me put this up and all the extra. And then I also could just put it in his bathroom and he could just know, let me go use my room. Because again, that's where his excess or accessible toilet supplies and things like that are at. So we could just get back like on a better routine. So that's 
gonna be coming soon, hopefully. Because <laughs> y'all know, like I said, I gotta look up take care of, but I'm gonna get it done, okay? I really do hope y'all really like this video. Again, if y'all want these links, please let me know. I have no problem with putting them down below. Um, everything is, again, going to be put in my son's room. So I'll probably put a picture of that up, maybe. I don't know. Um, so if you see it at the end, then I'm, I, I, I decided to do it. But if you don't, then I decided else. Um, so yeah, or I decided to do something else. Yeah, my mind, my brain, I've been working all day. I've been trying to get this video done. I'm like, <laughs> after this, I'm hungry. Like, I'm ready to eat. I'm cramping. I'm just going through a lot of different things right now at once. But so we got it done, okay? So we're going to wrap this video up. Again, I hope you guys really like this video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. See you guys next time. As always, peace and love. Okay, so y'all, I am pretty much just putting the posters up here just to show you guys how I got this done. And as you can see, he already had a few things up on the wall, but I knew I wanted to fill this wall up as we went along. I just didn't know with what. He had like three large size learning posters, but they're on the um, other side of his room. I ended up putting them there because that needed to be fill, full of something as well like i need to fill that one up so this one i was like okay i'll just take my time figure something out because it those three posters were just not going to be enough regardless so i put them somewhere where they would be and they'll be able to fill up a space and i got this abc like picture from goodwill for like two dollars i thought it was super cute and i don't know again like I just wanted to fill this wall up, so I got it. And this, like, little football balloon that you see him kind of, like, reaching for. <laughs> I don't honestly know if he was reaching for that with the poster, but regardless, that football was actually, like, a balloon he I got from um, Five and Below that he wanted. And the stick came off. He was playing with it. Got too rough. I went ahead, repurposed it, put it on the wall. I feel like it's cute. It's a good addition to the wall. And, of course, we got a little fair picture there. And we have these, like, little Avenger pictures. But those actually are not pictures. They are actually a bag that I cut up. Um, it was, like, one of those, like, little nice um, grocery bags. I don't really know the best way to describe them. I don't really know what they're made out of. I don't want to say anything incorrect. But, basically, they're one of those, like, nice bags that you get from the store. And, um... Honestly, we have so many of them. I just decided, you know, this would be cute to put in his room, actually, as a picture or something. So I just hung them up with kind of like posters. And um, it came out cute. So as y'all can see, I'm kind of just like stacking them, putting some high, putting some low. Just trying to figure out the best way to like organize these on the wall. Because I didn't want it to look too cluttered. But I didn't want it to look obviously like too spaced out. And I'm short, so... I couldn't reach up too far anyways. So this, I had to work with the space that I could actually reach. And it came out perfectly, as y'all can see. And we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up, y'all. Here y'all can see my son playing on the floor. And here's the wall. Peace and love. See you guys next time. Don't tap on no cuff and you want to keep busting it. Don't let me know when you can. I love you in so many ways. Don't know why you never complain. But you, I can never be shamed. And I usually never say never. How shit, look at me today. Lay your vibe, I don't need no sage. Click code and you call it blaze.